I do want to bring it back to what got us there, though, which is the patriarchy. <laughs> so, can you give me some other? Can you give me some other examples? Other examples of I how think, we live in a patriarchy oh today. Oh gosh, what's the statistic? I don't know what the statistic is. Isn't there a statistic? About well, I think that okay. I think what she's trying to say with and the if patriarchy. Any girls come in. Um, I've taken a lot of like history classes and just sociology classes, that kind of thing. So I've actually <laughs> learned a lot about it. Ah, okay. Wasn't trying go to ahead, show up ahead, there. Um. <laughs> I think that our society since God knows who, how long ago, it, it has been a male ran society. I mean, there's been, so, there's been so many instances. I mean, think about it. Like the whole stereotype of women stays at home, man like works like blah, blah, blah. You know, men go to war, women stay and kind of take care of the kids. In my opinion, that's patriarchy because that's kind of giving the, like the men like this, like higher role and like higher position in society. And I think that as, um, as society's progressing, it's becoming more progressive and women are um, kind of, you know, the whole feminist movement, that kind of thing. But I think you can't deny that throughout history, women have been oppressed. You could also kind of I, go... I, I would say, I don't think we should gender it, though. I think throughout history, men and women have been oppressed. There's, it's really the apex fallacy. The patriarchy theory is the apex fallacy you have a very, very small proportion of people at the very top which oppress everyone, both men and women. But you don't think that there's, so are, are you, uh, just to make your I, point. I reject, I reject this okay. idea of the patriarchy theory. theory. Do you it support theory. the idea of, do you support the idea of um, women have been oppressed in society? I think both men and women have been oppressed exactly. and I can actually, this is gonna be the hot take here. I that can was actually a hot take. No, hold on. I can actually make an argument that men have been more oppressed. Please than women. make your argument right now, please. What? State your case, this Brian. Is such an interesting Let me ask you a question. <laughs> throughout, just hear him out. Just hear him out. No, let me, we're no, you let out. me ask you a question. I'm hearing you out right so, now. So, throughout all human history, and I think that you know what this one probably squashes any grievance that I think uh, women could could conceivably come up with. Um, throughout all human history, what percentage would you say of military casualties, if you had to break it up between the genders, what, what is the percentage breakdown of military casualties? Well, obviously, so deaths and injuries. obviously a significantly more amount of men, 99.9999%. But that's also because, that's also because in the past women have not been allowed to that's a privilege. fight in the military. That is a privilege. Do you, do you think do you think if women had been allowed hold on guys do you think if women had been allowed to join the military they would be signing up in droves to get put through the meat grinder of war well it's also men literally like want to be in it like so many men someone there one of my guy do. friends told me actually that like all men at some point in their lives like fantasize about being in the military you're right mm -hmm. a lot of men do mm -hmm. a lot of men do are attracted to war. However, this hasn't been a consensual thing throughout human history. Throughout human history, you've had so many emperors and kings that literally just, they will send soldiers to your house. They say, all right, Tanner. Even in Ukraine, you, right now, going on. Ukraine, right now, people are getting forced to fight in this war. Men weren't allowed to leave the country in Ukraine. You realize this, women were allowed to leave the country. Men were not allowed to leave the country in Ukraine because they were forced to go to the front lines, right into the meat grinder of war. They were forced to die. This is not something that's happened to women throughout human history. But women Gen haven't given, given the opportunity to. I mean, nobody, I mean, you can make the argument that how many women would, right? Like, that's a good argument. But then you could also say m women were not allowed to enlist. All right. So World War Three starts tomorrow. How many of you are enlisting? Enlisting willingly? Yep. Probably wouldn't. But if they told me I had to go, I'd go. Suck it up. My well, you, family's you wouldn't, actually... You wouldn't have a choice. Yeah, you wouldn't have a choice. Have but her, her, her point is that women haven't had the option, so that's why it was all. Well, dudes. it's also I actually come from a military family, like my whole life, um, and um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> it's okay. That's all right. Um, my my point was just simply that you guys are right. Almost all societies throughout history have been male dominated, mm -hmm. but a very small percentage. It's by a yeah. very tiny percentage of men at the top who brutally oppress the majority of the men below them throughout society as well. And yes, women have gotten the raw, raw end of the stick too, but like dudes have had it bad as well for a long time. And we've had 
more rights in terms of property yeah. and speech and stuff like that and voting, but it's been pretty that's bad so, for dudes for a long time, too. Those are big deals. Like, War. those are legal issues that women didn't have rights to. Well, and now we're taking away... Women couldn't let, vote. Let's, Remember let's that? I do. Mm. Yeah. I was alive back what then. What do you think about that? Wait, about what? Do as you a, think as, that women... Do you, If you lived back then, right, would you support women not voting? Do you think that that's right and just? Do you think that that's a decision for the men to make that women are not competent enough to vote? Because that's that's what it was. Well, so actually, um, Eric, can you pull up? There's a uh, infographic. <laughs> okay. Eric, there's an infographic. It's, on yes, voice. I know women can vote now. I'm talking about like however it's many an years in question. history. It's an important question. Chris, go into the infographics. Uh, Brian wants to move on to something else, but it's important. No, question. no, no. It's related to the the voting thing. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's been fact checked by Bill Gates's fact checkers. So. <laughs> Okay, Very so this scary. is F11, Eric? Okay, so, um, yeah, there you go. So percentage of population age tw 21 or over eligible to vote. This is in the UK, so, but I mean, it, what, okay. So this is like pretty, you know, I'd say amongst Western countries, this is pretty much the case. So you'll know this before like, the mid 1800s it was pretty much a very small proportion of men had the vote the I, this concept of voting is an incredibly new concept before that it was just tyrants you had kings queens they're the ones who had power a very very small amount of people had power yes there is a bit of a discrepancy there from about the 1800s to the early 1900s but there's a, there is actually a reason for that one of the reasons is because, and uh, I, think, I think we've seen it, so if you want to just go ahead and bring it back, Eric. One of the reasons for, oh, uh, you need to go F11 in this uh, stream yard window, Eric. Thank you. Um, one of the discrepancies, or one of the reasons for that, is because men were the only ones that were subject to military conscription. So the, the way that men got the right to vote before women is we had to go in the trenches and die and we had a say we got the right to vote and elect a, a representative who would ma be potentially making the decision if we went to war women even to this day in 2022 they're they're not required to uh you have to register as a man you have to register with a selective service to this day we are still subject in 2022 to the to the military draft so that's the big thing that's one of the reasons why we got the vote before y'all, because we had to go and potentially die for our country. Women were able to secure the vote without the corresponding responsibilities and duties. So you actually got, when it comes to voting, you guys actually have an advantage over men. It was never about equality. You got preferential treatment in actuality. Because you, none of you are subject to the draft, even today. But what if some women there are men be subject? There are men what alive they today. Be subject to the draft? There are men alive today that were subject to the draft. They went to the Vietnam War. They're, well, they're alive today, so some of them came back. They have probably serious psychological issues. A lot of them are homeless. A lot of them just didn't come back, and they're dead. Now, there hasn't been a draft in a long time, but we're still subject to it. And the way the world's going, it's certainly plausible that we could see I mean, we see what happened in Ukraine. Do you think that there's a World War Three brewing? In your I don't. Opinion? I don't. Absolutely. Yep. I don't know, but it's. No comment. It, even oh. if, even <laughs> if even if war isn't likely, men are. If we don't register with the Selective Service, we we can potentially face criminal prosecution. It's Do you a think felony. that there's going to be a draft? Do you think that there's a possible um, yes. draft that could be? It I could mean, happen. I'm just asking yep. out of pure curiosity. It could happen. The, it could mil happen. the military can't find enough able-bodied people right now. Interesting. Because it's, it's still volunteer service right now, and they're struggling to hit their numbers. My dad yeah. always says this, but I, I, I asked him this question the other day. I said, is it possible to? Um, is it possible for there to be another draft? And he told me, he doesn't think so just because of like the, you know, the new way of fighting is just kind of like, a, it's very technology based. I mean, I might be wrong, but. Gen 5 warfare. Right. And so wouldn't that require less troops because it's. There's still going to be a draft. I mean. You still need troops for a lot of stuff. Like okay. if, you, if you're going in, you can do a lot of warfare using automated vehicles or robots or whatever it is. But if you're going into another country, like you're going to need boots on the ground. And mm -hmm. Now this is me not knowing anything. So okay. this is appreciative right. of. 
the yeah. information. Yeah, no. And I, I personally think World War Three is brewing. There's a lot of stuff brewing in the world right now. Um, Are you scared? No, I have faith in God. Valid answer, okay. I mean, if you want to talk about sy systemic oppression, to this day, men are systemically oppressed by the selective service. I know you're smiling, but the fact of the matter it's is- It's a really if, important point. If there was a war, we would be drafted and you guys would be exempt. Yeah. And you, you are exempt from having to register with the selective service. Can I service. have another example other than the draft? No, it's another very It's bad. systemic. We're more likely to be victims of police killings and police shootings and police brutality. We're more likely to be incarcerated. We're more likely to delete ourselves. We're less likely to get sponsorships for college. We're less likely to go to, go to college, more likely to be homeless. That's a few. Um, okay, can I say something really quick? Sure. Um, a lot of those things, like, I'm not saying they're not struggles because they are. I'm just saying that, like, a lot of those struggles are because, like, people in power just take men more seriously. And I think that, like, women's problems... More seriously. We're, think, we I, are the disposable sex. Yes. Men are the disposable sex. Women are valued. Men women, are... Women, go to war, get killed, be a war course, yep. but they labor do that for because us. They, like, it's, like, it's no secret that men are just, like, physically more, like, capable than women. Well, that's, that's part of it. There's a reason these that's, lights are on. That's part... Different what? discussion. That's part of it. That's part it. of it. But the other thing, don't get it. You're, you're looking at this. Hold on, guys. You're looking at this <laughs> through the lens of oppression. Okay. You're looking at this like, okay, men throughout history haven't taken women seriously enough to put them on the battlefield, right? Well, the other side of the coin is that women have been highly valued throughout history for their ability to bear children and and everything else that you guys can do that men can't do. You you guys are very highly valued for that. That's why today we're still the dudes that get tossed into the meat grinder and you guys are protected from the fray, okay? Childbearing women have been extremely valuable throughout almost all of human history because without you guys, the, the race, the culture, the civilization, the tribe can't go on. We're expendable. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's like people only value women because of their fertility. Like they don't value a, their intellect. They don't value. It's a, it's it's like, not you that you're just for? valued for your you fertility. Say? What do you value men for? It's not that you're just valued for your fertility. That's an incredible thing to be valued for. Like you guys have something that men don't. Well, it would be nice to walk into a classroom and have like all the guys actually listen to me for once. Because personally, I don't know about you guys, but every time I've tried to say something in class where it's predominantly male, mostly in like my science classes and stuff. Especially STEM, you, very much STEM. You get talked over. People don't look at you the same. They don't take you seriously. They don't. And as a man, you'll never understand that. People I'm don't so, take I'm, so, I'm sorry to hear that. No, no, no yeah, that, that's that. something that that's we can't necessarily like super understand. Um, but I can I can guarantee also, you a lot of women feel that same exact way. But once that's you graduate, once that's you graduate, exactly. and you have a what what are you studying? Um, psych and brain science. Psych and brain science. I mean, there's actually affirmative action for women in STEM in STEM programs in the education system, and also for hiring. If you're if you're a computer scientist software engineer and you're a woman you're getting a job i think that's great but that's, that's a huge advantage uh, for women. it's still not the attitude that is given to women even though they do like i do agree affirmative action does help and whatever that it's still the attitudes like that's what i said when i said there's still undertones of it in our society i still feel like women are disrespected by men and looked down upon from my personal experience and from what I've witnessed. People look down so, upon all sorts of people. It's not just women that are looked down upon. Like low value but dudes. it's a widespread for issue. Low val yeah, you're right. But low value dudes, for example, I, I bet there's a million dudes that you guys have met and they felt like you guys never gave them the time of day and they'd probably have a complaint about that. You know, like it's just part of life, you know? For instance, think about like a, a plumber, right? Like what I was saying about the lights and I was saying, like, didn't get that. Like think the last like woman who is an electrician that you guys met who is a plumber who keeps society rolling in a lot of the just like municipal stuff that we have going on like within our society it's all men that are making like sixty thousand dollars a year they're working like these blue collar jobs um wading through shit just the hardest, up telephone poles, jobs the ever. worst stuff you like it's not that bad here like you know for instance there was like a huge windstorm here a couple months ago and there's like linemen right outside my you know like door working on power lines and whatnot i guess that's not like that's not too bad but you think about like hey if it's negative 40 out and there's a dude in montana and like the the heat goes out there's a dude getting up at three o'clock in the morning and below 40 negative below zero who's climbing up that pole who's like getting power back on so that people have heat and whatnot and that's pretty shitty and he's also doing that for like fifty sixty thousand dollars a year 
And I don't, I'm sure that's I don't, not fun. I don't, I don't know. I literally do not know a single woman that wants a job like that. And that stuff is just left to the men. And it's kind of a raw deal, you know? Why don't, why don't chicks want those jobs? You know? I want to add a little bit to this. I don't think we're trying to say that men don't have struggles. But I think the problem is that women also have struggles. And those struggles need to be taken as seriously as men's struggles. Well, I, I, and like, yeah, of course. Not that's like, both men and women. In society, it just sucks that like... Well, actually, as women, I, our struggles aren't taken as seriously. And well, a lot mm, has changed, but like, it's still not completely I mean, equal. Actually, I think women's struggles are taken far more seriously than men's struggles. There's almost no discussion about the struggles that men face. 